buy any more because I haven't even shown off the ones I've already got from years ago. I'm still wading through them slowly. But yeah, this is quite interesting. In fact, it caught my eye straight away. Smile! As you can see, I'm uh, getting a bit excited to have a look at this radio stuff. Mm. Even though I've still, like I said to you before, I've got shit loads at home. And I haven't even got up yet, but never mind. side of the Humber. We're getting close anyway guys and looks like we're going to be seeing the train any second. There we go. Right, so that was an interesting visit. I've definitely come back with a lot more than I expected, that's for sure. Oh, oh dear me. Yeah. Uh, I was expecting a few more like but not what he did have. Right guys, back from the road trip. I initially went for the Dak Mark 9, which is this monster. And uh, he asked the question, don't you? Have you got anything else of it that might interest me? And these arrived. <laughs> so we've got the Dak Mark 9, the Sears Road Talker 40, which is, it's a 40 channel AM. Quite a nice set actually. Oh, I think it is anyway. Uh, the Westwood PT2, which is basically uh, a handy of sorts with a built-in battery and a mains uh, power supply, and it's 40 channel UK. Um, a Turner GM2U microphone, which is a bit off-coloured, but this PTT switch here, I need that for our last old one, which was missing. So that's going to be quite, it's a bit off-coloured, but I'll probably try and do something with it, paint it or something like that. We've got... General Electric, which is quite nice. I've always fancied the General Electric, actually. Um, after seeing a couple of lads over the last few weeks and months uh, showing theirs off, his second, and it was uh, quite lucky to, for him to have one, to be honest. So that worked out well. And this is a AM sideband set. Really nice made. And we all remember the communicators, NI440DX. Yeah, they're a bit of a strange thing then, but it's, it's tidy. Yeah, very tidy indeed. And above here, now I actually have one of these at home, but it's a Hansen. I'm, I'm sure it is. It's very similar anyway. It looks the same, but this is absolutely like brand new. Um, so you've got the egg, the, the scope lead in there, and the field strength antennas down there, and there's a manual at the back with the schematic diagrams in there, which is interesting. But yeah, I thought just a quick show anyway, guys. Just uh, and what I'll do over the coming weeks, I'll. I'll go into a bit more detail with these and we'll see what we've actually got eh? But like I say, this was, was what caught my eye and this is what I wanted. And, and that's what's turned up. So if ever you see something and someone says the like they've got, you know, whatever, just ask them if they've got anything else lying about, you never know, you might come up trumps. Um, so I'm quite happy. The lad was great as well, lovely bloke. Yeah, spot on. Uh, he had some fantastic equipment, like mainly like... Uh, uh, radios from the 40s, 50s and 60s, like, you know, I mean, big efforts, like fridges, some of them things, like, but wow, we had some lovely equipment, like, um, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's about it, and um, over the coming weeks, we'll go through these with a bit more detail, along with the rest of the bloody crap that I haven't even started with yet, so on that note, guys, we'll catch you later, and thanks for viewing.